pancreas. Pancreas acts as a mixed gland that gathers between exocrine and endocrine glands, where it acts as an exocrine gland when it secretes its pancreatic juice and pours it into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct and acts as an endocrine gland when secreting the hormones from specialized small glandular cells that are called islets of langer hands and pouring them directly in the bloodstream without presence of ducts. Cells of islets of langer hands are divided into two types which are beta cells represent the majority of islets of langer hands cells and secrete insulin hormone. When increasing the glucose in blood, they secrete insulin hormone to decrease the glucose level in blood through the utilization of glucose in the different cells or storing it in the liver. Alpha cells. They are small in number and secrete glucagon hormone that is secreted when decreasing the glucose level in the blood, where this hormone acts on converting the glycogen that is stored in the liver into glucose. So the glucagon antagonizes the action of insulin hormone and they participate in preserving the glucose level constant in the blood, which ranges between 80 to 120 milligrams per 100 centimeter cube. Insulin hormone decreases the glucose level in the blood by oxidation and utilization of glucose in the different body tissues and cells to produce energy and store the excess of it in the form of glycogen and lipids. Therefore, when the increase of glucose level in the blood, beta cells secrete insulin hormone, where it acts on the conversion of glucose into glycogen to be stored in the liver and muscles or in other body tissues. Insulin stimulates the body tissues and cells to oxidize the glucose to produce the needed energy for their vital processes and permits the transport of all monosaccharides except fructose through the cell membrane to be used. Insulin hormone acts also on the storing of glucose in the form of fats that are accumulated in different regions in the body. We observe that insulin increases the permeability of glucose into the cells and the decrease of insulin hormone secretion leads to increasing the glucose level in the blood, causing diabetes mellitus. From its symptoms, excretion of large amounts of water that leads to excessive micturition and sensation of thirst.